take a look at all of these biomes. Wow, so Amazing. cool. Wow. Beautiful. Wrong. Most biomes suck. Okay, not really, but I'm ranking them all. If you disagree with my ranking, leave a comment and I'll make sure to delete it. Enjoy the video. Ocean. Of all ocean biomes, this one's probably the ugliest. Look at the ocean floor here. All ocean biomes have personality except this one. 1.5 stars. Deep ocean. This is how oceans should be. Deep. Not much to say except we get monuments and a lot of kelp. Also good for caving. 2.5 stars. Warm ocean. Here we find coral and sea pickles, but most importantly, tropical fish. A pretty biome with a sandy seabed. 3 stars. Lukewarm ocean. The warm ocean, but mid. 2 stars. Cold ocean. Similar to the ocean, this biome is ugly. Nothing more here except some salmon. 1.5 stars. Deep cold ocean. Has monuments and a good depth. 2.5 stars. Frozen ocean. Annoying to boat through and lacks beauty. The only upside is the ice. 2 stars. Deep frozen ocean. The last ocean biome. Easier to boat through than a normal frozen ocean and a generally nicer environment. 2.5 stars. Mushroom fields. Okay, shut up. This biome isn't that great. It's really rare, far away from everything. Yes, mobs don't spawn, but that's literally a downside. You can't have mob farms or spawners, and there's already no passive mobs except for mushrooms. The mushrooms do offer infinite food, but only if you're on the island, which will never be, because there's nothing on mushroom islands. The only thing cool is that it's rare. Two stars though, I'm sorry. Jagged Peaks. 4.5 stars. Beautiful, big mountains, epic terrain, exposed doors, goats, simply amazing. Frozen peaks. Worst jagged peaks, to be honest. Sometimes it's not even a mountain, more just slopes, which would work out, but the biome isn't big enough to have smooth hills. Ice spawns here, which is nice, I guess. Four stars. Stony peaks. You already know this biome is epic. Look at this generation. The warmest mountain biome, no snow, calcite, steep cliffs. The only downside is that no passive mobs spawn at all. Four stars. Meadow. An all around nice biome. It's got sheep, flowers, it's near mountains, there's beautiful lonely trees, and bees. What more is there to say? The goat of aesthetic before cherry groves. Four stars. Cherry grove. When these released, I actually hated them, but they've grown on me since. The trees are pretty and it's easy to traverse. Rare enough to be special when you find one and a perfect place to live with lots of resources. 4.5 stars. Grove. Decent biome. Underrated due to the powdered snow, although powdered snow is literally the easiest thing to escape. There's good ambience in a grove though. 3 stars. Snowy slopes. This biome is overlooked a lot as it seems to be a frozen peaks biome, but it can be really nice if the biome spawns big. Nothing much to find here except powdered snow and goats and rabbits. Oh, and igloos, but those are really rare anyways. 2.5 stars. Windswept hills. The OG mountains. Pretty ugly looking at them, there's not much to do. I mean, it has more interesting terrain than a normal biome, but still very uninviting, and this biome gets avoided a lot. Whenever I find a windswept biome, I usually don't check it out. 1.5 stars. Windswept gravelly hills. Once again ugly. The only redeeming thing here is the gravel, which late game players like. 2 stars. Windswept forest. The last highland biome and pretty boring again. This gets two stars because if you want spruce, you can find spruce trees here without needing to find a spruce biome. Forest. In a forest, you have everything. Food, trees, caves, terrain that's semi-easy to traverse. Can't go wrong here. 3.5 stars. Flower forest. Meant to be pretty, but in my opinion, very bland. The flowers are really random and the biome is too rare to be used much. The only upside is the dice you can get. No hate, by the way. 2.5 stars. Taiga. Many people love this biome, mainly for the wood. I get this, but spruce forests are so hard to navigate, and the trees are annoying to cut down. The villages are the only thing I like about this biome, along with the wood type. 3 stars. Old Growth Pine Taiga. My favorite biome, and therefore the best biome. The ambience is fantastic, with a lot of things you don't find anywhere else. Dead bushes, mossy cobblestone boulders, and more. This biome has the most character, and the mega pine trees are perfect for wood or a base. This biome also spawns near mountains occasionally, making it the perfect place to live or live near. 5 stars. Old Growth Spruce Taiga. Almost identical to Old Growth Pine Taigas, you probably didn't even know there were two versions of this biome. The only difference is that an Old Growth Spruce Taiga has mega spruce trees that resemble a normal spruce tree, whilst the Old Growth Pine Taiga uses spruce and leaves to create pine trees without many leaves on them. This is good as you can see more and navigate a pine taiga better than a spruce taiga. Still a near perfect biome though, 4.5 stars. Snowy taiga. Is it just me or does snow make biomes 10 times uglier? I'm not a fan. 2 stars. Birch forest. A mid biome. Birch trees is all there is here. By the way, birch isn't ugly if you get a texture pack that makes the leaves orange. Like, this is so pretty. 
yet still a somewhat useless biome. 2.5 stars. Old Growth Birch Forest. The better birch forest. These can generate with amazing terrain, which make the biome really pretty. Taller birch trees are also what birch trees should be. 3 stars. Dark Forest. Lots of people's favorites. It's got mansions, mushrooms, and a lot of wood on each tree. The top is also great to traverse and the ambience is nice. A solid 4 stars. Jungle, one of the most unique biomes in Minecraft, containing ocelots, jungle pyramids, melons, cocoa, and parrots. Great scenery and very tricky to navigate, making it actually fun to explore. The vines can create significant lag for many players though. 3.5 stars. Sparse jungle, an alright biome, nothing special and there isn't much to do. But still jungle is nice and the wood can offer for some cool bases. 3 stars. Bamboo jungle. The last of the woodland biomes, the bamboo jungle contains a lot of bamboo, which is always nice to have for fuel or a base. With the new bamboo wood types, this biome has got a big upgrade in ranking, although being a pain to get through. 3.5 stars. Okay, this video is already way too long, so let's get through these next few quickly. River. Nah, alright. 2.5 stars. Frozen River. Fun to boat down. 3 stars. Swamp. A neat biome, but pretty boring and ugly. Slimes are annoying. 2 stars. Mangrove Swamp. Nice environment, but too rare, and frogs aren't that cool. 3 stars. Beach. Essential to the game, but pretty boring except for being the home for buried treasure. 2 stars. Snowy beach. This makes no sense, and again quite ugly. Not a fan. 1.5 stars. Stony shores. An underrated biome. Exposed ores and a would-be home for the penguin. Better than beaches. 3.5 stars. Hey, if you're still around and you agree with this video so far, subscribe. And if you disagree, also subscribe. Plains. You can't hate on a plains biome. It has open caves, villages, lots of available food, also a great place for a base or farms. This said, plains lack interesting terrain, but still a solid biome. 3.5 stars. Sunflower plains. Basically a copy and paste of the plains biome, except there's a lot of yellow dye. The sunflowers are cool, but make building and traveling annoying. 3 stars. Snowy plains. Yup, snow does make biomes look ugly. The only upside are villages, but then again, these don't even have hay bales. 1.5 stars. Ice spikes. Okay, this biome is cool. <laughs> Get it? Get it? It's a rare biome that's always fun to find. The ice is annoying to gather and there isn't much to do here, but it's always cool to find whilst exploring. Two stars. Desert. Deserts are home to a lot of structures, and the villages and temples are nice and contain useful loot. But in general, deserts lack a lot. I mean, duh, it's a desert, but still. Small bushes or dirt occasionally, or even an oasis would give the desert a much needed upgrade. 2.5 stars. Savannah. I don't understand the hate for savannas. Like yeah, the wood isn't as aesthetic as spruce, but the biome itself is pretty useful. It is really easy to navigate, there's a lot of animals, and you'll never run out of food. Savannah villages are alright, I guess. 3 stars. Savannah plateau. Basically identical to a savannah, but with steeper terrain, and no villages or pillager outposts. 2.5 stars. Windswept savannah. A windswept savanna is another one of those biomes that are epic to stumble across when traveling or exploring. The floating islands and waterfalls falling from the cliffs is always cool. 3.5 stars purely because the terrain looks amazing. Badlands. Badlands are cool and all, but once again, there's no real purpose for the biome, except the terracotta for builders, gold generates more often, but when have you ever traveled 3,000 blocks for some extra gold? Also, the mineshafts aren't that good either. 2.5 stars just because this biome is nice to find, looks cool, and it's worth saving the coordinates when you find one. Wooded Badlands. Badlands with ugly trees. 2 stars. Eroded Badlands. Badlands but cooler and fun to parkour on. 3 stars. Okay, before we reveal the entire list, we need to cover the different biomes underneath all the other biomes. Cave. You can't go wrong here. All ores exposed, and the best cave for mining in general. 4 stars. Deep Dark. Skulk is cool, and so are ancient cities. In terms of mining, if I find Skulk, I just turn the other way. The loot is nice, but you literally run in, run out, and never touch it again. 3 stars. Dripstone Cave. Dripstone is cool, and gives much needed ambience to regular caves. 3.5 stars. Lush Cave, the home to the axolotl. All in all, a solid cave, and always fun to explore, except ores are covered up a lot by the moss and clay. A few people think lush caves are overrated, but look how pretty this is. 4.5 stars. Void. So here is the finished ranking, with the best being old growth pine tigers and old growth spruce tigers, cherry groves and jagged peaks, with snowy beaches, regular oceans and cold oceans being the worst. In general, all biomes add up to create each and every Minecraft world, with the world generation being one of my favorite aspects of the game. But like honestly, if your list looks any different, then you're wrong. Subscribe.